Hi 1VS, so well done to those children who came and joined us this morning for the register and our phonics lesson. Don't worry if you missed it, just try again every afternoon at 1 o'clock and every morning at 9.30. So now it's story time, so I thought I would read this story, The Girl Who Cried Wolf. Maybe you've heard a story just like it called The Boy Who Cried Wolf. This is so boring, screeched Princess Arabella, throwing her knitting on the floor. What is? asked her maid. Everything. Being a princess is boring, she replied. Princess Arabella stomped over to the window and looked outside. A shepherd boy was sitting in the sunshine, watching his sheep and looking ridiculously happy. The princess suddenly had an idea. Tom the shepherd boy was shocked when he saw the princess and her soldiers marching up the hill towards him. Trembling, Tom knelt down in the mud. We are swapping jobs, announced Princess Arabella. From now on, I will be the shepherd and you will be the prince. A prince? cried Tom. But I don't know how to be a prince. Oh, it's not hard, chuckled Arabella. Tell me, what does a shepherd do? Well, you look after the sheep and if a wolf comes along, shout, wolf, wolf, as loud as you can, and the townsfolk will come to you, replied Tom. Oh, how exciting, cried Arabella. It said there the word townsfolk. They are the people that live in the town. So Prince Tom was dragged off to the castle. Meanwhile, Arabella the shepherd sat down on a log to watch the sheep. She watched them and watched them. But the sheep didn't do anything except eat and poop. And there was no sign of a wolf. Soon Arabella was bored. So she decided to play a trick on the townsfolk. Wolf! Wolf! She screamed at the top of her voice. In minutes, all the townsfolk came rushing up the hill, waving forks and flaming torches to scare away the wolf. So this is a fork, usually used for moving hay in the fields. Princess, are you all right? cried one of the men. I'm not a princess, you silly man. I'm a shepherd. Arabella snapped. If you want to speak to royalty, talk to the new prince. He'll be having a bubble bath by now. Oh, oh, um, sorry, 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 your high, oh, I mean, uh, shepherd, ness, stuttered the man. But where's the wolf? Oh, it seems to have gone now, Arabella said sweetly. Off you pop. Thanks for coming. Hmm, was there a wolf? She's telling lies, Tom shouted angrily. There wasn't a wolf. I stink of roses. Can I go back to being a shepherd now? Tom asked the maid. Oh, no, sir, said the maid. It's time to ride your new pony. But I hate ponies, cried Tom. I only like sheep. Arabella, still chuckling to herself, went back to watching the sheep. But it lo wasn't long before she was bored again. Bear! Bear! She cried as loudly as she could. In a few minutes, all the people from the town came rushing up the hill, red-faced and out of breath. So when you're red-faced, usually you're angry or really upset. When you're out of breath, obviously they were running to go save her from the bear. But was there a bear? Where's the bear? grasped the townsfolk. Oh, uh, you were too slow, giggled Arabella. The townsfolk didn't believe her and wandered back muttering crossly. So when you mutter, you're not talking out so people can hear you. You're sort of saying it to yourself. She's lying again, 
cried Prince Tom, who was being forced to eat fancy food. I really wish I could go back to my old job, he sighed. Arabella soon got bored again, and this time she shouted, Troll! Troll! at the top of her voice. The townsfolk came puffing back up the hill, looking hot and puzzled. Where's the troll? they asked. Oh, I scared it away, cried, cackled Arabe Arabella. I poked it with a long stick. So where is it now? they asked. Oh, it'll be over that hill by now. It was a very fast troll with um, running shoes on, Arabella replied. The townsfolk didn't believe her at all and angrily stomped back down the hill. Look at their faces. That definitely shows anger. Back at the castle, Prince Tom had a visit from the townsfolk. They'd had enough of Arabella's lies. But what can I do? cried Tom. I can't make her tell the truth. No, but as a prince you can decide whether we should run to help every time she shouts wolf or bear or whatever it is next, said the townsfolk. Well, smiled Prince Tom, I think you should ignore the new shepherd next time. She's told too many lies. Yes, your highness, the townsfolk replied, bowing low. Sure enough, a few minutes later, there came another shout from the hill. Dragon! Dragon! Whatever will she think of next, said the townsfolk. They all ignored her and carried on with what they were doing. So you can you see that every time she lied, they came. But they had enough of her lies, so this time they haven't come. But there really is a dragon. She needs their help. But Tom had seen the dragon from the castle window and was already running as fast as he could up the hill. He grabbed a bucket of full, uh, he grabbed a bucket full of water and threw it right in the face of the huge dragon. The dragon flew away, coughing and sneezing. That was amazing, said Arabella. You fought off a dragon all by yourself. Where were the townsfolk? You told so many lies that when you finally told the truth, nobody believed you, said Tom. I'm really, really sorry, Tom. Thank you for saving me, replied Arabella. Do you think we should swap jobs again? Yes, said Tom. You're a useless shepherd. I know, laughed Arabella. I much prefer being a princess. And from that day on, Whenever Arabella was tempted to tell a lie, she thought of the terrifying dragon and instead told the truth. And that's the end. So it's called The Girl Who Cried Wolf. Next time you're thinking of maybe telling a lie to an adult or a friend, think about it. If you tell too many lies, just like the girl did in the story, then one day your friends and your adults, they're not going to believe you. Always tell the truth. Okay, see you again soon.